case or reinforcement, as we say in the trade, is something that helps. Mm -hmm. Well, generally speaking, that's true if you're a people. Right. But if you're a learner, a brain, or a dog, right. we have to think about it a little bit differently. We have to think about it more like addition and subtraction. Okay. So something that's positive is something you're adding. So I'm adding this lift, right? Okay. Now I'm subtracting the pressure that comes okay. from the lift. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they are sort of equal and opposite forces. Okay. Good girl. So it's a way of communicating with your dog. Okay. When I lift, it motivates her to give me the behavior that she has been conditioned for here with all of the drills we do. Okay. But she only really learns when I release the leash and remove this thing, which is opposite thinking for humans. We think, yeah. what do I do to get the dog to fill in the blank? Well, what you do is you wait. And then when she does it, you release the pressure and trust your dog. Right. So you have to let go. Okay. If you love it, let it go. If it returns to you, it's meant to be with you, right? Right. <laughs> She's meant. Yeah. I see now. Yeah. Yeah. So when I stand and talk with you, like this, and the leash is loose, we know that she is offering beautiful behavior, and that's coming from inside her head. That's impulse control. Okay. So when you're you're dropping off and picking up, and you've got the leash in your hand, your job is to do exactly what I'm doing right now. You motivate and teach. Okay. Motivate and teach. Good girl. Good girl. And look how nice she gets. Yeah. She's Good. the best. She is. <laughs> She is doing very good. Isn't that nice? Wow. Yes. yes. I love it. Oh. Can I keep it like this all day, just like this? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. When you set limits and motivate her. Okay. And then release to teach. If you all you did was that over and over, yes, you could totally be like that all day long. Huh. So our job is to, we're going to walk up, up the leash. Now, I'm not managing my dog. I'm managing my body. So I want you to practice as part of your homework, holding your leash like this, okay. and you're going to move it through this hand. This is just kind of a toggle where you hit, hit, hit adjust your leash, and, and I'm making it shorter. So I'm. this is a way of putting no pressure, because this is motivating, and I don't want her to don't feel anything. Okay. I want to move me. So move me. Now my leash is short. Okay. I'm in the right position. And now instead of back, I'm going to lift it forward a little bit, and she sits right down. So think of it like a unicorn horn okay. between the two ears, and it goes forward. So effectively what happens is now I'm, I'm pulling forward instead of back. This is mush. This is sit. Mush, sit. Mush, sit. Okay. Like a little gear shift. <laughs> it's like a little gear shift. Like a little gear shift. <laughs> really? So we're going to get you closer. Stand tall. Use your core. Get your arms in instead of out. This is a perfect training opportunity. Yes, good girl. You want to try? This is a big deal. Look at this one. Okay. okay pause for a minute. I'm gonna. Can I touch you? Can I take your hand, please? I'm gonna turn it. Release the leash. Okay, there. Like that. So now you're stronger on that part of your hand, which will cause less injury to your fingers. Good. Now release your dog and trust her. She's sitting. Tell her what a good girl she's yes, be. Yes, good girl, Kara. Good. Good girl. Okay, good. Praise her five times, and then you good. can give me your dog. Kara, good girl. Yes. Yes, good girl. Nice. Well done. Beautiful job. Give me five.